Jody, welcome. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. Now, March 20th, I'm sure you remember this date. It's the anniversary of the U.S. invasion of Iraq. Uh, it's a really important time to talk about the experiences, individual experiences of our troops, you being one of them, serving in the Marine Corps for five years. You were only 19 years old at right. the time. Um, tell us about what that experience was for you as a woman in the military. As an intelligence analyst, my job was to collect information on where enemy threats were and brief unit commanders. Um, at you know, 19, 20 years old, that was quite a significant uh, job that I had. Um, I was one of maybe three women in a team of over 300 Marines. Uh, so I, I think my experience as a woman at that time, uh, you know, reflecting back on, I can see some differences. Uh, but at the time, I was a Marine mm -hmm. and had a job to do. Mm -hmm. And then after five years of serving in the Marine Corps, you left. What was it like in terms of feeling supported um, as now a veteran, uh, as a woman veteran? So I, I left the Marine Corps in 2005 after I did two deployments. And I found myself back home um, in Connecticut. And at the time, there weren't the resources that we now have today for our veterans. And so I kind of just had to navigate the transition on my own. I was met um, initially by a lot of bias and a little bit of misogyny around me being a woman and had served, having curly hair, being petite. These are things that society wasn't quite ready to associate with a stereotypical veteran. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, uh, me finding other women that had the same experiences as I did. I served with so few women in the military. I think at the time it was 5%, now it's 9%. Um, I didn't really have, I didn't fall into a sisterhood. And is that the sisterhood that you feel that you wanted to create for female veterans? Absolutely. Um, it, it, today in my role as CEO of Foundation for Women Warriors, we really focus on providing a cohesive support network for women veterans. A lot of that was born out of um, my own personal experience of not having that. What do you want people to know about the needs of women? Right, so women veterans are the fastest growing segment of veterans, but they are also the fastest growing segment of homeless veterans. When you have women that are mothers, they're afraid to report themselves as being homeless uh, because they're afraid to have their children removed from them. So a lot of what our organization does is uh, interjects or uh, meets these women at their critical area of need and provides either housing stipends, childcare to keep them in work or in school and then also workshops to enhance their employability. Without the Foundation for Women Warriors, would these women still be forgotten and underserved? I, it, we're the only organization in the country providing childcare assistance. I think there's other organizations, but they don't solely focus on women's experience. And putting women in the same room as other women who ha have similar experiences Thank you so much, Jody Grenier from the Foundation for Women Warriors. Thank you so much for having me.